All right, welcome back to a Laguna Quick Start tutorial for RD Works. In today's tutorial, what I want to show you is working with an image. I'll go ahead and open up Photoshop. In this image is just a basic generic image I grabbed off the internet, uh, Yoga Buzz. <laughs> there you go. Uh, I opened it up in Photoshop. Now, one of the things you need to worry about as you're prepping your files uh, for RD Works or any kind of graphics file for cutting and laser cutting and etching and stuff is to take a look and you know know what's in your file. In this case, this is the file at 100%. I can see it has a, a printing profile, a CMYK profile there that's usually used when it goes to um, offset litho printing and things like that. So what I might want to do with this image is change a couple of things. I want to check out first the, the mode, and you can see where it's a CMYK color. I might want to switch that up to an RGB color, just to give it an RGB color profile that'll fit our monitors and things. So that's good. I also want to know maybe what the, um, the image size is. So if I go to size, I can tell that this is 1066 pixels by 1200 roughly a really small three by four inch size. Um, we'll just go with it at default for the moment. So, uh, but it's good to know what its size is because this is relatively small. However, the resolution is set at 300. So I guess that that's okay there, but let's just say we leave this alone for the moment and maybe take a look at a couple of um, interesting things here. And we'll get on to a different tutorial um, showing you how to adjust and make this better for print or for cutting, but I just want you to be aware of um, this is what we're working with. So as I zoom in, I see it's kind of ratty. It is kind of raggedy around certain areas, and there's you know various things that will actually get traced and cut when we um, put this file into uh, into our D works. So just wanted to make you aware of that real quick. Okay, well we're going to open up this. Um, We'll hide Photoshop and go into our RD Works. And I will import that same file into RD Works and we'll work with it inside of here. So I'll go to File and we'll go to Import. And here is our Yoga Buzz uh, logo. So let's bring that in. Okay, well, first off, let's do the normal adjustments. Um, you'll notice that. It um, normally would come in as a black layer. Um, in this case, it came in as a green layer because that was the, the color that I last had selected to um, work with. So I'll tell you what, let's start out with kind of how it would look for you. I'll go ahead and, and take that and we'll do a delete and we'll re-import this, but I'm gonna switch my color up. If I come down here and choose the black, then we'll we should see it come in as a black layer. So I'll go back to File, Import, go to your um, go to your file, bring that in, and as you can see, the color over here in the layer is black. And um, I think that that um, is sort of pertinent in some cases. Uh, but just know that that's what happens when you have a different color chosen down here when you bring a file in, it's gonna show up as the same color here. So let's take this and make sure that we have our lock locked down and it's active and we will give it a 10 inch size and I'll click inside of there and now we have an instant upsize. Okay, well, let's take a look at what this uh, looks like in scan mode right now on the simulation and you'll see that uh, you don't get anything. And so, but, the, but that's only because we have not traced this image yet. So let's do that real quick. We'll go ahead and click on there and we want to grab this bitmap handle right here and open that up and there you have it. Um, the easiest way to do this is to set your output resolution and let's set that to a, a standard 300 for the moment and go ahead and apply that to the view and that'll apply it to the image in here. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to get our outline. So I'll click on that get outline button and there it is. It did a vector trace of the black and white areas in here and that's great, it's exactly what we want. So we'll go ahead and apply this to the source which is going to be our, our image here and we'll hit okay. Now you'll notice that it came up up here. We now have a cut 
in Aniscan. So if I go over here and hide this layer of my bitmap by double clicking here, you'll see that we, we have this and there's all our little pieces and they look pretty good. Um, of course, all of the little fragments and things like that have translated here. And if I zoom in here, you can see where, you know, it is, it is not that clean of a cut. So just keep that in mind as we're doing this. I want to show you something interesting, though, that happens when you um, do an image trace inside of here. And say we want to add one more cut layer. What I'll do is I'll go ahead and select all of my vectors there and I'll do a group. OK, and then what I'll do is I'll go ahead and, and select all of them again. And in this case, let's do a copy and a paste. So let's copy all of these and then let's paste them. OK, and they'll normally show up outside of here somewhere, which is great. So what I'll do is I'll grab all of these and I'll make sure that they're grouped by just clicking on the group icon with them active and they are grouped. And what I want to do is switch these up to a different color. So I'll go ahead and choose green and there it is. Okay, and you'll notice that when I switched it to green, if I'm working in this same, uh, with the same image in the same time, it, it'll default the next time I open up uh, RDWorks, it might default to this green color. So just be aware that that, that happens a lot. Okay, well, what I want to do is I want to take these vectors and I want to put them on top of, of this right here and match them up so that I, I might be able to work with um, not cutting out or not etching certain areas of this image. So I'll go ahead and take that and we'll go ahead and use our center page button and I'll click and we'll put them onto the center. Okay, so technically that did put them into the center but you'll notice that, you know, by by doing this, that these vectors are off. Uh, they really don't line up at all. I can see that there's an offset there. And in a lot of cases, we don't want that. We want to make it as perfect as possible. So here's how we fix it. Um, generally, it's just because when these are imported into our DWorks, uh, it basically says, OK, let's center it here. but that isn't necessarily always going to be the center um, when you start working on on a, a file. So let's do this. Let's hide one of these layers um, or actually, yeah, let's let's hide one of those layers and let's take our cut layer and select it and move it out of position. And then let's turn on our other cut layer, select that and move this out of position as well. And then all we need to do is take this one since it's grouped and go ahead and click center page and we'll take this one and we'll click center page. And hopefully you'll see where that little trick aligned these things up perfectly. So if I turn one of these layers off and turn this layer on, let's hide that one. Let's turn that one on that they're both perfect. Okay, so that's just something to be aware of as you're working with vectors and centering everything for a cut or a double cut or whatever you're doing. Okay, so there you go. Well, I hope you learned something and thanks for watching.